Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, basically like a traditional Mexican look for El Grito de Mexico, which is actually Mexican Independence Day. It's on September 15th, so it's coming up really um, soon. And this look, I'm ded dedicating it to two of my cousins that are in Mexico. And because I think that they should go ahead and sport it. So they can, even if they're home, even if they're in lockdown, just sport it. Just feel good that day, right? So I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of look I can make for them. And hopefully they sport it and they share it with us on Instagram. Okay, you guys? So I already just prepped my skin. I put on foundation and powder and some powder on my under my eyes. And also I powder my lips because I want to use like a matte red lipstick. And I want my lips to be extremely dry so the lipstick can look even more vibrant and last longer, okay? So here we go. I am going to go ahead and get started. And um, I will show you guys the steps. And like always, I am going to go ahead and prep my eyes. I probably should have done that by before because you guys already know how I prep them. But I'm going to go ahead and do it all over again, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go over my entire eyelid with the um, cake face white color, okay? Now that I have my eyes looking like Ursula, I'm gonna go ahead and use the sickening right in between my the crease of my eyes, okay, for a transition color. Now I'm gonna cut the crease with the Huda Beauty Nude, and I love the concealer that she has right here, so I'm gonna use that one, okay? Okay, now that I've cut the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and with the red, white, and green colors, okay, you guys? And for that, I'm gonna be using my James Charles um, by Morphe collab palette because I saw the shade green that I like right here, the red one, and then the white one, okay? Now that I have the red, which looks really funny now on my face, I am gonna go ahead and go in with the white and then the green. So for the white, I was just kind of using my brush and going upwards so I don't get the white on the red. Try to avoid as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do at the end. So, and now you guys, we will go ahead and add the green. And now the fun part begins, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this glitz fix on my on my hand right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do three little blobs of it. I could use like a makeup tray, the little tray for the colors, which I have somewhere around here, but it's covered that you use one of these little pans and then you can just put your your shades that you're using on there or whatever and then it's like less mess on your hand but I always like to use my hand because it's always there ready for me so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these eye glitters and to each one of those little blobs that I put I'm just gonna pour a little bit on there I'm gonna do the same to the other one. whoa this oh this green is all over the place so I'm just gonna grab a little tiny bit because that one is like ready to party and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of this one and kind of just make it stay in there and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the red one okay I'll show you guys right now once I do the red okay so that is what my three glitter shades look like and you can see all that falling down but now I'm gonna go ahead and mix each one 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of the same color right here. And oh, that is so sparkly, it's so beautiful. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the green and then the white, okay, you guys? And always either clean your brush or use a separate brush, okay, you guys? So the next one I'm gonna go ahead and do is the white one right here. And now that we have that, we are gonna go ahead and do our eyeliner, the top part, the bottom part, and do our lashes, okay? So now that I have all that on my eyes, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this glitter that's all over my face and just finish up the look, okay? So you guys, I am basically done with my makeup. We're just gonna do the headband and do the extra finishing touches and we will be all done, okay? So there you have it you guys that is my look that I created for Mexican Independence Day if you guys want me to create any look like from any country or anything just let me know I'm always willing to try new things and um, I hope you guys like this yeah que celebrar this is a gift that I have from my grandma from a long time ago you guys so my hair is not as long as it used to be before but let me know what you guys think of this look don't forget to leave me comments and tell me what look you guys would like for me to do next and don't forget to like comment subscribe and i hope you guys are all staying safe and bye guys